Man. What's up? This is your boy Carcino here. Let's go through it, man. Um, this is the truth behind the treach and pepper beef. And it really shouldn't. This is the saddest thing that you can see ever transpire. Because this was like hip hop's royal couple at the time. It was like they were the rap version of Bobby and Whitney without the drugs. <laughs> they were they were it, you know, and people rooted for them. You know, they were the hosts of the MTV Awards, I mean uh Source Hip Hop Awards back in ninety nine when when things uh when they had went on a honeymoon and the source decided to come back and do an award show you know it was a big stance it's like okay we back to doing an award show things have calmed down you know let's do it right and it was done on a big stage big production it was a big night for hip hop but pepper and Tretch, man, their relationship was like gold. You know, it's like, how do you replace a golden relationship like that? They seem so in love. The good girl who loves the thug. <laughs> you know, and that's... She had a chance to date Will Smith. Will was in love with Pepper, man. He thought Pepper was beautiful. And wanted to date her. I mean, he took her for walks, talked with her. You know, they... You see, when you're on the road with so many people and hip hop, it's not, it's not like it is today where everybody, like, I'm doing this, I'm booked at this venue. Oh, I'm booked at that venue. When you're a hip hop act, mostly it's like all oh, y'all booked on one show, and that's it. It wasn't a lot of opportunities for hip hop at that, you know, at that time. So if you saw a hip hop show, you saw Heavy D, you saw Salt and Pepper, you saw about ten acts. All on one night. Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Salt and Pepper. So if you was a group or rap. You met everybody. Y'all traveled together. It was no crazy beefs. And nothing like that. You know it was people trying to get money. And they was just happy to be doing something they loved. Now the game is so crazy. People be like man he, he didn't like my Twitter. I'm going to shoot him. I'm going to shoot him at the end of the night, man. He ain't like my Twitter page. It was really retarded. But Will Smith, man, used to take her for walks, you know, and he saw a homeless guy. He gave him the homeless guy 100 bucks. He would never let pay, Peppa pay for anything. He would always pay for her. But he was too nice. She wanted to date MC Hammer's brother, who <laughs> was completely Louis Burrell, LB. I mean, this is Dive Hat. This is straight gangster. You know, that's how he got down. So, that's just it for that. But, when that, you know, that blew up <laughs> eventually. And Tretch came in the picture. You know, that's what she liked. She liked the thug, grimy, you know, that's what we into. <laughs> and when Tretch was over there dating. When Tretch was over there dating. Uh, Pepper was dating Tretch. You know. Uh, that's how Tupac met Salt. And you know. The whole nine. So. The things that you like about somebody. End up being the things that. End up going to destroy you in the end you like the thug you know untamed image that he was portraying but do you know what comes along with that image that comes along with the thuggery there's a reason why they like that <laughs> so if somebody's that in that behavior and they thugging it's from a lack of caring about stuff so all of a sudden, they care about things for a little bit. And they're not going to change just because you like them. And you like this. So you're going to have to deal with all the other BS that come along with it. Like cheating and girls 
and things of this nature. And this is the things that she alluded to in her book. Let's talk about Pep. And there were a lot of inaccuracies that Tretch didn't like about the book. Because the reason they really, really got married is that she got pregnant with Egypt. And they had a daughter and then they decided to set a date. And in 99 they got married. But the marriage was the marriage was made based on the relationship trying to rekindle because okay we got a daughter let's get married let's make this thing legit and hopefully the marriage will fix the relationship because there was a lot of problems you know she said it was abuse like he was abusive to her and all of this stuff and the marriage only lasted two years. He was jealous of the career. You know, it was a lot of stuff in that book. Doomed Tretch. It doomed him. Because Naughty by Nature ended up falling off. He ended up fighting with members in the group. And things were just, the wheels was falling off. And what really got him hot is that he gotten over that. He was doing other works and doing other things. But this book really stopped him from getting a lot of work. It really did. He probably didn't know it. But when they, when somebody like a, a spouse come out and say you were abusive, said that you did all of these different things, that even if you didn't do it, it's a bad look. TV show sponsors, you know, once this stuff come out, that, that messes up your money. You know, and even though she, she didn't even put, you know, his name in the book, but people going to read between the lines. So he's like, look, this, uh, these are lies. And he still stood by her during that time. But when she decided to re-release the book and, you know, the book was like years ago. Now she wants to bring it back out. And she's back promoting the book that's like four years old. This is when... You know, Tretch, he got hot because now she's on radio shows talking about him. And he's like, this book is nothing but lies. And you running my name in the ground. Oh, he called her everything in the book that I wouldn't even repeat. But he also brought up the fact about her dating people that's younger than her daughter. Which, well... He's younger than her son, you know, that that's for sure. And that's because she had a son with, you know, the guy from the Fat Boys, Prince Marky D. And they have a child together. And the fact that this guy she's dating is, I believe, he might be younger than him. Because he's got to be and at least, I'm going to say, 38, 36, 37, her son. He's in his 30s. Now... He was born in the 80s. Definitely born in AIDS. Now, when this happened, this guy she's dating is, um, he's like Indian almost. Uh, he's a producer. What is his name? Uh, Gurp Singh Ray. He's real good, good friends with Manny Pacquiao. He's a producer, photographer. So she wasn't lying when she said, like, I mean, he wasn't lying when he's like, you messing around with dudes that's young enough, you know, this is like her daughter's friend, you know, <laughs> oh, that notion, you know, dude's, dude's pretty young and she's 52, but hey, it's, it is what it is, but he's just hurt, you know, about the situation in general because He's looking at it like this is going to hurt my money and this is going to 
do damage to me again by bringing all this negativity and all this stuff back. You know, it's like, do something new. Why do you need to revamp back the book and rev the book back up for? You know, so this reality show and that Peppa did and got herself back in the mix. You got all of these people doing all these things now. So when you see stuff like this starting to happen, you're like, okay, here we go. <laughs> They're going to lead to another type of reality show. You know, and like I told you, I don't watch these reality shows. I just know they exist. Or existed and some I don't even know they came and went they was like you ain't know they had a show man I'm like unless I'm dating a chick I'm trying to hit this is her show and I'm sitting there watching an episode with her and she's going through it and we know we doing this because we got <laughs> we we on a mission <laughs> we we got something to conquer other than that we wouldn't even be here watching this type of stuff I watch shows that are smart very well written has innate value <laughs> you can actually use that knowledge in real life for something those are the type of shows I watch you know but some people like reality shows because it deals with what they go through in everyday life like ratchetness you know you got people that get off on seeing ratchet stuff because they live a ratchet life they surrounded by ratchet people so this is their reality and they're cool with that. So I don't down them for that. They're being who they are. But as far as this Pepper and Tretch situation, this thing is only heating up. And hopefully it dies down and get done with and be over with because I'm telling you, it's not a good look, especially when your daughter is like 17 years old and he's like, she trying to sneak her daughter in places that you got to be 21 years old you should get in and, you know, he's not happy. And I understand his pain, especially if this is something he didn't do. Now, if it's something you didn't do, then I understand you being upset. Don't think I don't. I get it. But I'm just letting everybody else know this is what happens when you accuse somebody or even falsely accuse and even if you don't use their name you can do a monumental damage when you say somebody hit or abused someone nobody wants to be they don't want to touch them with a 10 foot pole and believe me Tretch's career has suffered a lot because of this because of this statement even in the past so with that being said it's your man Carcino here. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm out. And thank you.